The National Weather Service has confirmed at least eight tornadoes touched down in Indiana on Saturday. Two alone were in Beach Grove. That's where we find News 8's Katie Wisely. Uh, Katie, it looks like there's still quite a bit of damage there. Yeah, that's right. Good morning, Drew and Kylie. The good news out of all of this is that luckily nobody was hurt. Now, I'm standing here at an apartment complex where you can see quite a bit of damage. Kind of walk this way with us. You can see a bunch of limbs here on the ground. You can see part of the apartment building had a little bit of damage. It's taped off. There was some uh, tape that the fire department put up on Saturday. That's the Beach Meadow Apartments. And then we're going to show you beyond that barrier. That's actually the high school, Beach Grove High School, where that area has been blocked off. Part of the science wing of the high school uh, received quite a bit of damage, so we're actually not allowed to go any further than that area. Now, the Was National Weather Service confirmed it was an EF1 tornado with estimated wind speeds of 100 miles per hour. The Red Cross had a shelter set up in Hornet Park Community Center within hours after the storm hit. At a press conference Sunday morning, Beach Grove Mayor Dennis Buckley thanked all emergency first responders after more than 55 retirement communities lost power and IEM. MS had to supply oxygen to some of those residents. There were a few homes that were completely destroyed, forcing residents to leave. Our main park, Sarah T. Bolton Park, is closed. Uh, we had flooding yesterday. It has receded, but we're just going to let it uh, drain out a little bit before we open it back up. Residents have already started to clean up. Mayor Buckley suggests bringing tree limbs and branches to the curb for pickup. He also warned those looking for repair contractors to be aware of contractor fraud. He says it's best to call City Hall to ensure any hired contractors are valid businesses. Now, Indy car driver Sarah Fisher was supposed to have her go kart charity event here at the Beach Grove High School yesterday, but it was canceled due to that damage here near the high school. Now, beside me here is that community center where the Red Cross Center is. They are still open, so if any of you uh, listening to this need some help, you can come here uh, to the Red Cross and receive some help. Back to you. That's great information, Katie. And as you know, people in Rush County are also cleaning up while waiting to hear official word from the National Weather Service. Emergency officials say a possible tornado came through at 845 Saturday night. There are no reports of injuries in the county, but officials say 12 homes were damaged. We talked to a man whose farm has been in his family since the 1800s. Jeff McGee says this is the most severe damage the property has had. When they came up here, they saw that the trees, you could not see the, the west side of the house because of the trees. Um, once they got the trees off of it, there was some damage, a tree limb through the roof, uh, some broken rafters, a tree limb through one of the windows and one of the side walls. But except for that, the house is still intact. Now, the National Weather Service has said it has not been able to survey the damage yet to confirm a tornado. The town of Freedom, which is about 20 miles west of Bloomington, also saw a tornado. The tornado landed around 6.30 Saturday night with winds up to 110 miles per hour. The storm crossed the White River several times and followed the river line to south of Spencer. This is where it hit a large building. The roof was uplifted and the walls collapsed. We did have some video of that. We spoke to one man who hid with more than 20 other people at Freedom Baptist Church on Main Street. He says a downed tree missed the church by a few feet. When they uh, heard it, they just hustled into the uh, bathrooms and the one gentleman actually saw the uh, storm cloud go up and over and take out those trees. He said they're fine. So far, there are no reported injuries in any of the counties affected by severe weather. Keep up with the Indiana weather changes with our StormTrack 8 app. It features current conditions, an hour-by-hour -hour forecast, and live interactive radar. It's free for iPhone and Android. Just head to your app store.